Hello and welcome to a Twisted Tools demo video for Colorflex. This is the MIDI CC sequencer and IC Send Basics video. In this video, I'll answer the questions what is the MIDI CC sequencer? How do I use it? And what is the IC Send sequencer and how do I use it? For details on the zone parameters for each of these sequencers, please see the zone parameters video. The MIDI CC sequencer will allow you to send MIDI continuous controller messages so that you can control internal and external MIDI capable devices such as other reactor instruments, VSTs, or audio units plugins and hardware devices. To create steps and edit them, the principles are basically the same as those discussed in the MIDI note sequencer video. Left click the MIDI CC sequencer to activate it. If it is red, right click the MIDI CC label to unmute it. Please note that due to a reactor bug, this unmute function is broken in the VSD instance of reactor on a Mac. T to circumvent this issue, we suggest you unmute the sequencers and resave the presets while in standalone mode until we've updated the buttons. For both the MIDI C sequencer and the IC Send sequencer, the square size of an active cell determines the value of the CC being sent. For example, if a square is full, a value of 127 will be sent, whereas if the square is small, it will send a lower value. You could determine which CC is sent from each colored zone area by selecting a color and choosing a CC number and channel number to send out. Then, set up your receiving devices to respond to that MIDI CC in that channel. In this example, I have sent CC data to Native Instruments Massive by choosing a CC number and matching that up with a macro control in Massive. For details on MIDI CC sequence parameters, please see the zone parameters video. Next, let's look at the IC Send sequencer basics. The IC Send sequencer will allow you to automate internal reactor devices with ease and is the preferred method to do so. The principles are exactly the same as the MIDI CC sequencer, except that rather than choosing a CC and matching up that CC on a destination device, you simply choose the destination for the automation message from a simple pull-down menu in the zone parameters area. This list gets updated automatically when you add new devices to Reactor. Please note, however, that these routings are stored with ColorFlex, not with a preset. To best make use of this feature, save an instance of ColorFlex with each project you work on when prompted after you launch the VST or audio unit version. To demonstrate how this works, I'll set up a sequence using preset 21 and trigger Simpler. I can simply open the IC menu and choose to automate the pitch of Simpler using an IC Send. You could even use IC Sends to self-modulate an internal parameter in ColorFlex. This opens up a lot of doors.